Welcome back, everyone. The phone lines are open, so you know the number. Pick up that phone and dial at 800-635-2673. Today, you get to talk to two doctors, Dr. Becker and Dr. Quillen. And if you or someone in your family has been struggling with cancer, we want to hear from you. Today, Dr. Patrick Quillen is joining us. He's been recognized internationally for his expertise in the area of nutrition and cancer. In fact, he has over 24 years' experience in clinical nutrition, and for 10 years, he was the Director of Nutrition for the Cancer Treatment Centers of America. He's now released the fourth edition of his uh, just fabulous, groundbreaking book, Beating Cancer with Nutrition. We're going to talk about that today. Dr. Quillen, it's such a pleasure to Sunny. welcome you back. Good to I'm be so here. glad you're here. We're going to have a lot of Dr. fun. Quillen. We're going to teach you. a lot of people. Oh, I'm looking forward and to it. And everyone out there, if you or someone that you know has cancer, please call us. We want to talk to you. This is a chance to help you today. You know, uh, Cindy, did you know Dr. Quillen has been a consultant to the National Institute of Health? I did not know that. He's also consulted with the United States Army Breast Cancer Research Group, Great. the Scripps Clinic, the La Costa Spa, and the United States Department of Agriculture. Folks, awesome. this is what we're trying to achieve with this program, bringing right. you quality, reputable experts in your area of health concern. Now, Dr. Quillen. <clears throat> Let's play out this scenario to get started because this is really the crux of the matter. Good. My name is Joe. I just went to the doctor. The doctor said, Joe, you have cancer. Mm -hmm. And if you follow this protocol of, of radiation, surgery, and chemotherapy, you may have a 50% chance of being alive in five years. No, not good enough. Not good enough. I go home and I say, honey, We've got the kids, we've got the grandkids, we have the business, we've worked all our lives. I'm not taking 50%. Right. I need better. Mm -hmm. This is where you come in with your concepts. Take it from That's there. Right. Good example. Uh, the numbers are big, too, Dr. Yes. Becker. We're talking 42% of Americans living today will develop cancer in their lifetime. So Joe is not alone. No. Right. 1.4 million will be newly diagnosed with cancer this year alone. And of that, about 25% of them have Joe's poor prognostic cancer. So we're talking a lot of people are given the big C. What do you do? <laughs> Number one, get informed. It's mm -hmm. absolutely crucial mm -hmm. that you find out what are the treatment options for your cancer. Now, I'm not saying your doctor isn't competent. I am saying that there, we get into a rut. We have a tendency to use the same therapies for the, uh, the same diseases when, in fact, perhaps hyperthermia might be useful in your therapy. Maybe it's not available around the block in your town, but you could go to the nearest city. Uh, there, there are the therapies you've had Dr. Brzezinski on. Yes. Antineoplastins are valuable. There are herbal therapies. Uh, there's, there are uh, intensity modulated radiation therapy, for instance, which is a fancy way of saying targeted radiation. So instead of giving general radiation to a region of the body, target it just for the cancer. So my first thing for Joe is yes. get educated. Okay. Find out your options. And the, the Internet has brought us, mm -hmm. has, has connected the whole world into a giant nervous system, which is wonderful. So in my book, I mention services that will literally search the world for your cancer and find oh. out who is getting the best results. This is a new edition, then. A new edition. This is the fourth edition. The uh, first one came out in 1994, so we're 11 years into it. Now we find the data is overwhelmingly available. You don't have to take that poor prognosis. Now, admittedly, some cancers are tougher to treat. Let me get this straight. In the book is resources so that someone can help you find treatment options exactly. for your cancer. That's exactly. tremendous. You know, and uh, as, once again, doctors are doing their best, but sometimes Absolutely. sometimes they're not aware of the other it's treatment options. It's a lot to know. It is. It's, it's tremendously, overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Oh. And Dr. Quillen, who would have thought you need to know cell type? Right, that's okay, true. Okay, but you do. <laughs> right. You do. What stage is your cancer? Right. You've got to know that. Is it so let's go to the basics. No, right. What exactly do they need to research? Well, the basics is medicine and lifestyle. And here is a very important sound bite. Uh, too many people out there who have cancer have been told by their doctor either you do medicine or you do nutrition. That is not true. Right. Not true at all. In fact, what we find is if you marry the two sciences together, you get a better outcome than either one of them separately. So I'm a nutritionist, and I'm quick to point out nutrition is not sole therapy for cancer. No. However, it is essential therapy for all cancer patients, and this is where you need to know Get good medicine. Get restrained tumor debulking, which means chemo, radiation, surgery, hyperthermia. There's cryosurgery. There are some biological therapies, Tdac. There's you know, stem cell transplants. So those are useful. But make sure you change the underlying cause of the disease, and that's mm -hmm. where my field of nutrition comes in. Now, there is energy in food. 
However, Definitely. I think of this, and I said, that's a weird notion. Mm -hmm. But as I was driving over today, I thought of a, a, a battery, mm -hmm. the Duracell Bunny. Okay, well, what they do with the battery, they put some chemicals together, and it creates energy. That's right. And you can put it in the toy, the flashlight, whatever, and it's visible. Right. Foods have energy, don't yeah, they? How true. does a food's energy help us fight cancer? Well, you studied medicine. I studied nutrition. If you take all those sciences that we studied, biochemistry, anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, and boil it all down, what it comes down to is the electrical bonds between atoms, which is energy. Yeah. Yeah. So food has energy, and I think it, too often Americans are eating food that's a cadaver. There's no energy left in it. It's dead. The battery's dead. The battery's dead, and it's yeah. not going to recharge anything or run any of your appliances. So a very important sound bite that I offer people, and like the, uh, the news and views you had, is eat whole foods. Yeah. And that whole food is a rich mixture of bioflavonoids, carotenoids, special proteins, lignans, things we didn't understand a few years ago, and now we're seeing in whole foods you can prevent at least half of all cancers and maybe more, and when you get cancer you can improve nutrition nutrition can improve outcome extending lifespan about 1200 mm percent -hmm. do you have any superfoods that you list in the book ideas you know what type of recipes what type of foods to emphasize to help the cancer is it I, in I the do book? there's a chapter that Noreen wrote on recipes and cookbook ideas and we're gonna get her up here and she does a great job but think about improving mm -hmm. okay well, realize that the three most commonly eaten vegetables in America are ketchup Right. French fries and onion rings. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is dead food. It's high in fat, the wrong kind of fat right. and yes. sugar. So I say take people where they're at and improve it. Now, for right. some people, that means using salsa instead of a ketchup is a huge improvement. Well, there's some fresh veggies at least. That's well, true. And Richard, one thing you need to stop and think about, too, you know, when we're cooking for people, we're changing the chemistry of their blood. That's right? true. Right? Everything yes. we put in our mouth is fuel, is gas, gets us going. Okay, when you take certain foods, People don't necessarily know this. You combine foods together, they put off a third effect, yeah, which true. would have cancer-fighting properties. So this is something people have to seek out, too. Which foods do I combine to fight cancer? Right. Well, for, for example, I'm sorry to interrupt you. We just had the pomegranate juice story. Right. right. We take PSA doubling times of 15 months. Folks, if you have prostate cancer, the PSA shoots up. Right. And the higher it gets, typically the worse the cancer is True. becoming. Yeah. And they found by just taking eight ounces of pomegranate juice, we turn that 15 month doubling time into 37 months. Right. Is this amazing? Right. Is it credible? Oh, it is. It's good research. And yeah. there's research showing that um, cabbage, yogurt, garlic, onions, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, fish oil. Yeah. Uh, there are, there's literally hundreds of studies showing that nutrition changes the outcome in a cancer patient. For instance, you think of every year in America, in August and September, about 30 young men, college, high school, and even pro, will die or nearly die from heat stroke. And the, the cause of death is dehydration. Right. And the cure for this life-threatening disease is water. water. And water becomes a biological response modifier in that dehydrated football player. Yes. The same token, what I'm talking about in nutrition is many bodies are so deficient in so many nutrients, they aren't working well. That's right. They're like that football player yeah, lying the water flat on the turf. The water gets you quick. The water gets you quick, but the nutrients can get you there within two or three months. I it see. can dramatically change the way the body works. It improves the immune system. Sugar is a cancer feeder. We'll talk about all of this mm -hmm. as, okay. as our show goes on. Now, after this break, your beautiful wife, Noreen, joins us. What can, what, what's Noreen going to bring for us? Well, this, this is the pedal of the metal. This is okay. where the rubber meets the road. And this, you people out there know that you have to change the way you cook. Noreen's going to give you recipe ideas and healthy okay. seasonings and sugar substitutes okay. to make it a healthy diet. And that's when we...